there. This is obviously a really bad lighting situation here since my phone is plugged into the wall right now. The only other things I did was eyelashes, highlight sprayed with some new MAC Fix Plus in coconut. I uh, am in quite a hurry, which my phone dying and me having to do this right now is kind of cutting into time. Me and Poppers are getting our fall photo shoot done today by one of our friends from work. Super excited for that. It is quite cold outside today. This was a quick, easy photo shoot look. I did like no shimmers or anything. Your shimmery eyeshadows can reflect light when using film photography. It doesn't look very pretty. I did obviously put a little bit of highlight on, hoping that that won't look too bad, but like can't live without highlight. And it is going to be an outdoor photo shoot, so it shouldn't be too bad. There is no flash. When getting like school pictures done, flash photography, you definitely want to stay away from shimmers and glitters. This is the finished look. Stay tuned to see how I achieve this look. I also just got a bunch of new products in from Tarte and Sephora, so those will be featured in this video as well. I gotta run. Photo shoot time. Bye guys. Thanks for tuning in. I'm going to be starting with the old Hendrickson Balancing Force Oil Control Toner. This will just make sure that all of my makeup was removed, even if I missed some while washing my face. Following with the Sunday Riley Good Jeans Lactic Acid Treatment. So I use this to even out my skin tone because I have a lot of redness under my skin. So this will even it out and exfoliate. Lastly to prime, I'm using Benefits of the Professional to minimize my pores with a combination of rubbing and pressing into the skin. My Tarte Box finally came. Can you tell I'm excited? The Tarte Shape Tape Hydrating Foundation. I decided to try out the hydrating for the winter since my skin gets very dry. And the shade I got was Light Neutral. The applicator is just a big version of the Shape Tape Concealer. Looks exactly the same. The shade that their quiz gave me looks pretty accurate. At least for when I have a bit of a tan, it's a little bit dark if I were to be my natural color. And I dipped into the product about three times. I'm spraying my damp beauty blender with the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus. I just like how it applies my makeup. It really presses it into the skin. My first impressions of this foundation is that it does apply really smoothly. I thought it would be a little bit more full coverage like their concealer though, so I did go back in with a second coat. Always remember to blend into your neck. This is my third Tarte Shape Tape Contour Concealer. I get a different color each time, mostly because I always have a spray tan and need to match depending on how dark I am. The lightest is Fair. This one is Fair Neutral and my new one is Fair Light Neutral. So I apply this to anywhere I want to highlight or conceal, whether I have some redness or acne. Sometimes I think I could start a trend with this look. Again, I blend this look out using a damp beauty sponge with the Fix Plus sprayed on it. JH01, the Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder in Translucent. When using it to set my face all over, I like to pour it out into the lid and dab a little off onto my brush. For 500 points from Sephora, I got the Bare Minerals You Know You Want Me collection. First is the Gen Nude Matte Liquid Lip Color in Swag. The original Mineral Veal Finishing Powder, Skin Longevity Vital Power Infusion Serum, the All Over Face Color in Warmth, and Primetime Original Foundation Primer. The only thing I chose to use out of this package for my look today was the lip color. 
I have had these lip colors before. They are amazing. They're not drying and they just smell delicious. Like cocoa powder. I will be using this Tarte palette for most of my look. I'm not entirely sure as to what it's called, but I got it last year around Christmas time. I'm going to use this lighter color for my blush. I'm going to apply this using the JH04. Now using the color that's not shimmery, the lighter of the two, I'm going to use JH05 and apply some contour. I repurchased the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer in taupe. If you watched my last video, you know this is my favorite brow pencil, uh, this old Sephora one. Yeah, no, totally done with that. This one has everything I like, the little bristles, the thicker end, uh, yeah, it just applies my brows flawlessly and takes minimal effort. Definitely happy to have this one back. I decided to get the extra large version of the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. I love the inside of this box. This is the extra large next to the regular bottle. It's two times the size. The regular is $40 on Sephora.ca and $50 for the Jumbo, so it's definitely worth it. I'm starting with the shade Utopia using the JH30 to apply this all over my lid. I'm going to use the shade Whirl to deepen my crease and I'm applying that with the JH31. So I'm mainly just focusing in my crease and the outer corner of my eye just to give it a little bit of a smoky vibe. Going back in with the shade Utopia in JH39, I will be applying this to the lower lash line. Now with the shade Trinket and the JH38, I will be applying this to my inner corners, my brow bone. I'm using this shade because it has no shimmer at all. I'm using the Sephora Waterproof Contour Matte Gel Eyeliner in the shade White Russian. And for eyeliner, I'm using the Tattoo Liner by Kat Von D in Trooper Black. For my lower lash line, I'm using the Urban Decay Eyeshadow in Blackout. I'm applying this with the JH42. Going back in with Utopia and the JH38, I'm smudging that black out a little bit. Using the Dior Addict Backstage Pro's Lips Sugar Scrub to try and get off some of my dead skin from this cold fall weather we're having. Nah, yeah, this didn't work very well. One second, I have an idea. My go-to lip scrub is the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Floor Lip Scrub in Mojito. So using that Bare Minerals lip color in Swag, I'm really starting to feel this look, but I feel like the lip color is a little too pink with the orange eyeshadow. For mascara, I'm using the Lights Camera Lashes by Tarte. To add a little bit of pink to my eyeshadow, I'm using the Too Faced Peppermint Mocha. The blush in this palette is called Santa Baby, JH34. I'm blending this all over my lid, but not going past the crease. For lashes, I'm using the Morphe Premium Lashes in Smoochy and my new Velour Brush On Lash Adhesive in White. Unfortunately, that's where my phone dies. Thanks for tuning in, guys. My grandma told me I can't say the F word in my videos anymore. Keeping it PG for you, grandma. Ugh. Yeah, bad lighting situation over here.